Hello YouTube, it is Chris here and I hope everyone is having a fantastic Memorial Day today. And this past weekend we were at the Self Reliance Expo in Dallas, Texas with Wazoo Survival Gear. But before we get into that, I wanted to showcase some of the awesome new loot that just came in from Stanford Outdoor Supply and UV Pack Light for our impending 50,000 subscriber giveaway where we're going to be giving away $5,000 worth of awesome gear and prizes and if you want us to get us there quickly we need to make sure you're sharing these videos out and give them a big thumbs up for us. Coming up we're going to be talking to some of the vendors and letting you guys get a tour of what we got to experience this weekend at the Self-Reliance Expo. So stick with me. at Grim Survival with my friend Jordan, and uh, he's got some pretty innovative stuff that uh, I want him to share. So if you got a moment, take yeah. it away, bud. All right, uh, so here at Grim Survival, we specialize in wearable, concealable, everyday carry tools. So we want you to have everything you'd have in your backpack, in your pocket, on your body, where it can actually do you some good. So everything we have are two different styles, either credit card or dog tag size. These are our credit card tools right here. These are our dog tag tools next to it right here. Every one of our tools has a special backing on it, and that's what we call our tool retention system. That's so that you can take our tool, pull it out, use it, and put it back. So that way everything's reusable in it, so people can take it out, go play with it, hurt themselves a little bit, and then put it back where it goes afterwards. Um, we have several different styles of tools. So we have everything you need for fishing, hunting, medical. Um, this right here is our knife tool. This is one of our first ones, one of our most popular ones. We've got a small knife, small wrench set on it fishing hooks, arrowheads, our hatchet right here. This works as a small hand tool or you can tie a piece of wood to it and use it as a small hatchet. We got a small saw along with it. Our lock pick set here. This is a favorite of a lot of people. Our medical cards, so we got standard sewing needles as well as medical sutures, some buttons and stuff. So what you need it to sew up your clothes or to sew up your leg. Our fishing kit, we got over 30 different hooks, lures and different tools on this one. Uh, so you got your standard little lures right here with hooks on them. You can attach a piece of paracord to or a feather. Um, our self-defense tool, this is our very first tool, this is a favorite. You can slip your finger in the middle, hold it as a self-defense tool, or you can use it as a spearhead. This is our full broadhead spear. So all three of these little pieces go together to form a large spearhead. Our gig set's a really fun one as well. So you got your large fishing gig, medium, and two small gigs. We'll tie these onto arrows, bow fish with those. Uh, we've got our two small spears or broadhead arrows right here. Middle twist open to form your broadheads. We got your standard arrowheads as well, so you can make regular hunting arrows. Uh, this is our glow card. And so basically this one's a little special because you can actually set it in the sun for 30 minutes and it's gonna glow for about eight to 10 hours at night. So that's gonna give you an emergency light that'll continually glow for you every night. This is what we call our specialty card. So this one actually takes two liter bottles, which is what we find all the time by the creek and the river edge. And it processes them down into a high strength line. We've actually used this to restring bows, to build shelters, to fish, to snare, basically everything you'd use in survival. So we are here at the UV pack light booth and we are here with my friend Alexis. And um, for anybody new to the channel who's never heard of UV pack light, I'm gonna let her take it away and kind of explain a little bit of what they do. Yeah, hi, I'm Alexis from UV pack light. My dad and I have created a business out of a renewable light source. It's kind of a non-traditional light. You've heard of the chemical glow sticks and things like that that you break and shake and then you throw them away. Well, what we've come up with is something new. It's a reusable one. Inside of all of our lights are crystals to make them glow. These crystals are called strontium illuminate. They're non-toxic, non-radioactive crystals that actually last forever. All they need is any light to charge. So right now here in the Expo Center, they're just charging with the light from the building. It could be light from the sun. Actually, one minute of sunlight gets it to go for 10 hours. Or it could even be light from just like a simple LED flashlight. This is about 300 lumens. You can see how quickly they charge. All of our lights are going to glow for about 10 hours. So they dim out overnight and then they charge back up again with light the next day. And they do that again and again forever. So there's no shelf life on these things. You could literally throw them in a bug out bag and keep them in 
there for years. And as soon as you break them out again, they're gonna start charging up and they're gonna flow all night long. So this morning we are here with Scott from Easy Cut and um, he's gonna show us, I know a lot of you guys have seen a lot of folding saws that are good for bug outs and your packs and everything when you go camping. But um, he's got something I think is pretty interesting that I want him to share with you guys today. I'm Scott from Easy Cut, E-Z-K-U-T. And we've been building quality tools since 1988. Over 30 years of quality tools. Everything we make is a lifetime guarantee. But we have our brand new wow saw. This is the number one folding saw in the world. Number one, the blade is the most important. The blade is made out of SK4 steel, and we put a hard chrome finish on it so it doesn't gum up or rust. What we did is we put a curved surface on here. That makes it easier starting overhead and down below. Nobody else has that in a full 10 inch blade. And then we patented these raker gaps. And what they do is they store this cut material in those gaps, okay? Then when you draw it, it clears it out. So you never recut the same sawdust over and over. You get a clean cut every time and your blade will never heat up. What we also did, it's hard to see it right here, but it's taper ground. We have a small taper here at the bottom and it gets thickest at the teeth and then it gets thinner as it goes up. So you never create friction with this part of your blade. Really important. It locks open and closed, okay? All metal locking system, no plastic on a metal pin because that's a breaking point. And then this grip is called ballistic rubber. You can put this underwater in sweat or in rain and this thing is still gonna stay sticky. But there's a lot of good saws out there like the Silky brands a lot of people talk about. This saw is usually two to three seconds faster and more efficient than the top brand saws. And that's just draw, draw, draw. Okay, it's that fast. This is the wow saw, number one folding saw build. Here we are, out in the woods, with Fowler. <laughs> Alright guys, so um, we're here with um, my friend, Zachary Fowler. For you guys who don't watch any of the outdoor survival shows, he is the season 3 winner of Alone down in Patagonia, Argentina. And he spent 87 days by himself to end up being the winner of that show. And um, if he's got a moment, I'd love for him to share kind of a little bit of experience in what some of his highs and lows, man. Just take it away. What was one of your most enjoyable aspects about being out there when you weren't necessarily thinking about missing your family like 24 seven? What do you enjoy the most? It was just being able to make whatever I wanted to make whenever I wanted to make it. That's always been my dream in life, just to make stuff. You know? Right on, yeah, yeah. I love making things. I've had dyslexia and it was, I always had a hard time in school, um, studying. I just, it was always a struggle for me, all those, the, you know, uh, literature and, and reading and writing, it was always a struggle. But when I get to work with my hands, I've always been that much better at working with my hands than I was at reading. Yeah. And so to get to go and do something like that mm -hmm. and to, to just make whatever I wanted to make, whenever I wanted to make it, you know, to, to make the situation so that I could, uh, survivable. What was your favorite gadget that you made out there? Oh, definitely the duck hunting. Yeah, know? yeah. I mean, I made the Duck Hunter with a um, paddle wheel originally, and then the Mark II had a propeller, and it would motor out into the water and do my fishing for me. It was like a with a like a primitive ice fishing trap on the deck that would spring up and set the hook in the fish's mouth. And the, I had this one footage on the GoPro underwater where it motored past and the spiral bubbles coming off the prop, and it never made it onto TV. It was <laughs> too much footage, too much stuff going on to share it all the time. And it, it was so cool. But the advantage is they didn't show it on TV, so I get to do it on my YouTube channel, Fowler's Maker and Mischief. Go over there, subscribe, so I can film a like a reenactment series of um, as if I did it in Maine instead of Patagonia. I'll be rebuilding all the stuff so that I can show it in greater detail and, and all my techniques that were uh, just skimmed over too quickly on the show to really show you what was happening there. Yeah, absolutely. You know? That's awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, it was amazing to get to talk to you and. Uh, yeah. Hope you have a good weekend, man. Yeah. Thank you. I'm here with my new friend, Brian, from Sasquatch Custom Homes, and they make some incredible, incredible houses. But if Brian's got a minute, I'd love him to kind of share what they do. What we do is we, we want to build a, an affordable home, a high quality home at an affordable price for anybody. Um, we are in this for ourselves and the enjoyment of building. We're not into building hundreds of these. We want to build one or two a month. We want to build and pick and choose and our customers to pick and choose us as well. Um, we, we, just, we love doing this. We love working with our hands and we love building quality products. And we want something that's going to last the test of time. It's kind of big living in a small print. 
am here with my buddy Alan at Green Innovative, and he has got something that is pretty darn nifty. My name is Alan Riggs. I'm the inventor and maker of the G Mag Power Cell. It's a magnesium air fuel cell. If you just add salt and water to this thing, it makes power anytime, anywhere, in any weather, day or night, any place on earth. So we sell these in packages. We make them uh, in, in, in a couple of configurations. One that has uh, about a double powered anode and it will charge about 200 AA batteries. We have another unit that has replaceable anodes and it will charge an unlimited number of batteries. And we package them with it. We package them with AA or AAA, AAA to AA adapters, AA to C adapters, AA to D adapters, so you never have to buy another C or D sized battery. We also package it with a USB block. It's a four AA battery USB block. You charge four AA batteries, put them in there, you charge your cell phone, your night vision goggles, GPS devices, range finders, lots and lots of things, Kindles, readers, nooks, all of those, that sort of stuff with the USB block. It lasts on the shelf indefinitely. When you need it, a year from now, five months from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, it's ready to go. It has an unlimited shelf life, and it's ready to make power when you need power. Well, I'm here at MedicPad with my friend Victoria, and she's got something pretty awesome to share with you guys. So, uh, Victoria, take it away. All right, so what I have here is a medical device. It's a TENS unit. So what it is, it's a muscle stimulator. You put these pads on your body, anywhere on your body, if you're have sciatica, arthritis, tendonitis, anything like that. And what it does is electrical pulses are sent to your muscles, hyper-stimulating the nerves, blocking the pain receptors and reaching your brain. It's going to increase the blood flow, massage you, pull toxins out. Something that, um, for example, like if you are out in the wilderness or something like that and you get a pinched nerve, this is going to work really great. On a full battery, it lasts 40 hours. You get a lifetime warranty. We're here at Bomb NATO Disaster Shelters with Ron. And um, he's got something pretty awesome that I want him to share with you guys. So, uh, Ron, take it away, sir. All right. What we're looking at is an 8x12 bomb NATO. This shelter is designed for when you build your next house, you put this underneath the house. So imagine this. You're laying in your bed in your master bedroom. Something happens, a tornado, a bomb goes off, whatever it could be. Run into the master bedroom closet, open the door, open the hat, run down in the shelter, close it, you're good from tornadoes, nuclear fallout, whatever it may be. But the best thing about this is a multifunctional space for under the ground. You can use it as a gun room, as I do for myself. Uh, you can turn it to a wine cellar. Uh, you can just use it as a vault where you keep your valuables if you live in fire country. But the point is this shelter is made to be sold for under $20,000, including the NBC air filtration system. This makes it the least expensive NBC class fallout shelter in the world, period. It comes with a multiple of interiors. This one here has a set of double bunk beds and it has a couch that pulls out to a full-size bed. It also has two foot of storage underneath the floor where you keep your water, your batteries, your freeze dried food, anything you want to keep down in your bunker. But it's a good investment and I suggest next time you build a house, you tell your builder, don't build my house without a bomb NATO first. Well, I am here at the Camping Max booth here at the Self Reliance Expo here in Irving, Texas. We are here with my new friend Ryan and um, I'm going to let him kind of tell you guys a little bit about what they do for uh, people in the outdoors. So we are Camping Max. We sell camping, backpacking, and emergency preparedness gear. We cater to over 500 different organizations. Uh, in particular, we work a lot with Boy Scouts, or Rangers, Church Groups, Red Cross, Girl Scouts of America. We are here to provide consistently the lowest price on any goods that you can find. We have tent, backpack, sleeping bag, all that random stuff that you forget on your camping trip. We have so many different products. It is amazing. And we are here for you. If you go online, we have resources, you can always give us a phone call, uh, we can make orders over the phone, but we're a family business, so we're designed to actually be there for you and ask any questions that you have. Uh, we've been in existence for about 10 years now, and I think that it's been an incredible ride to help people out, going across the nation and figuring out what do you need for your next trip and getting you the best quality gear. So that we're going to choose is going to be winning the uh, the Viking pendant whetstone necklace, and it is Christy Pepperdine. Christy, come on down. Here we go.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little tiny tour of the Stuff Alliance Expo here in Dallas that we just went to this past weekend. And I uh, hope you guys are excited about the 50,000 subscriber giveaway where we're gonna be giving away a bunch of loot because all it's all the loot that you see in front of you plus the stuff that we've been overlaying in previous footage. But uh, that just about does it for now. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day in a glorious Memorial Day weekend. But I'm out. You brought the shovel. You know? <laughs> if you just brought the shovel, then that would have been useless. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you think I use it for? Like 99% of the time. <laughs>